Hi, and welcome back to the tutorial for the assignment called Flower Power. Um, what we're learning how to do today is really get to use our um, anchor points. So we're going to start with the ellipse tool, which is in the shape menu. We're going to draw an ellipse. And um, fortunately, it's filled in black. And you'll notice that I have my essential classics selected so that I have more um, options available to me as I work. Okay, I want to zoom in. So I'm going to click on the Alt button and zoom in. Here, I am going to go to my curvature tool. And I am going to add two anchor points, one at the top, one at just about directly underneath the first one. If I don't like it, I can move it a little bit. I am now going to use my direct selection tool and I am going to pick the anchor point on the tip of the ellipse. Okay, I'm going to double click and I am going to pull it until it kind of looks like this. And let me move that page over. Okay, so it looks a little bit like a shark bite. You see as I zoom out. I am going to create two more anchors, okay, um, with my, and there. And I am just gently going to pull out this end anchor. Okay, if I want to widen this, I'm just going to pull on the anchors and there we go. Okay, I am now going to, from my swatch menu, select nature and select flowers and I'm going to work in a purple and the color changes. Okay, so unfortunately, this doesn't work anymore. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to select this. I'm going to right click. I'm going to transform. And I am going to transform each. Okay. And I am going to set this to 60 as my angle. I'm going to leave my horizontal and vertical scales alone. I am not going to move. Okay. Um, what I want to do and be very careful, make sure I make a copy. Okay. Now I am just going to line this up. I'm going to do it again. Transform. Okay. Transform each. Make sure I make a copy, move it to overlap, and continue doing this. Um, until I have pretty much come all the way around. Transform each 60 degrees. There we go. Make sure I do it on the copy because not doing it on the copy um, means that you are going to transform your last object. Okay, and again, transform, transform each. Make sure I do it on the copy, come around. And if I did this one more time, um, what would happen is I would be back to this one. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, again, transform, transform each, but this time we're going to go 30 and see what happened. I did not click on the copy, and as a consequence, instead of getting a copy, um, it moved the one I was working on. Okay. So that's a bit of a problem. So I'm going to go here. Okay. Transform. 
transform each 30 degrees, make a copy, and pull it so that it overlaps. I'm going to go to this one, transform. So what I'm doing now is I am merely uh, filling in the spaces that exist. So I go to the next one, transform, transform each. Make sure that I select copy, overlap, back to, to the next one, transform, transform each. Do the copy and line it up here. One more time, transform, transform each, make a copy, and then move it over, okay? Um, if I double click on a shape, it will isolate. If I right click, exit isolation, and I am working with all of my um, shapes again. What I am going to do now is mass select, Okay, and I am um, going to group this. So this will now move like a single object. Um, and then I can do a control C and, oops, a control C and a control Okay, and a control V. And I don't have two of them. I don't know quite what I did there. Okay, so control C, control V. Now I have two. I am going to take the second one that I created and I am going to proportionally make it smaller. So I'm holding down my shift key. I am going to pick a color that um, complements, I guess, the flower I've made. I am going to group select and I am going to cl click on stroke and use this to make sure that this has no outline because part of the problem with um, having an outline on these objects is that it doesn't look very nice. I am now going to hopefully take my object, put it back in the center. I am now going to group these two objects, hold my shift key, proportionally size them, and there we go we've created a free form flower. Um, your task is to create a whole bouquet of flowers using different colors. You can also um, mess around with the shapes if you want. Uh, enjoy this process and we'll see you in the next tutorial.